Now we're going to talk about removing the hands from the dial. And so we'll zoom up on to this uh, little clock here. And this is what we're going to be using today to demonstrate. And I'll adjust the lighting here a little bit so we get a good clear picture. One thing you want to do before you get into clock repair is uh, to make sure that the hands are not rubbing against each other. That there's enough clearance between the hands, between the minute hand and the hour hand, so that they're not rubbing each other or rubbing each other as they pass. A clock will actually stop because the hands can't pass each other because they're touching each other. Or they may be touching the dial. Or they may be touching the glass. Uh, if you close your bezel and it touches or hits the uh, minute hand, which is usually the first hand that uh, sticks out from the arbor, that could slow down or stop the clock. Uh, especially if your, if your movement's not very strong due to a lot of dirt. So you need to make sure there's enough clearance between the hands. Now, some hands are removed by way of a screw. There's a screw right on the end here. And some are re removed by way of a pin. This one has a pin, it's called a taper pin, that holds the hands on here. So the way you want to remove the taper pin is you can either grip it from the bottom and pull it out, or you can put your bottom of your pliers on the bottom of the uh, arbor, put your other hand of the pliers on the top, and then just press down. And as you can see, that forced the pin down, and you can, with a little gentleness, pull it out the bottom. Now, if you have some stubborn hands that won't come off, I always remove mine by hand, use my fingers. You can use what's called a hand remover. Now, a hand remover looks like this. Here's a picture of a hand remover. Now, the way this nifty little tool works is these little edges here go underneath the hands, which would be like right underneath here. And as you turn the screw and the screw comes down, it'll hit the minute arbor right there, therefore forcing the hands forward this way and removing them from the minute arbor. Now these are really nifty little tools and they can be picked up for I think less than ten dollars at most of your clock suppliers. But I don't even own one because I always remove mine by hand. I usually reach in there with my fingertips or if I need to with uh, fingernails. So first you, first you take off the minute hands. And those that comes off, that came off pretty easily, and there's a little little um, washers here that were in front of that. So you have the taper pin, the washers, and then the minute hand right behind it. Now the hour hand, it's held on by a steel split bushing, which is on over the cannon tube of the hour arbor, and sometimes they're a little bit stubborn. That one popped off. So, fortunately, I was able to get these off with my hands pretty easily. Now, as far as cleaning these these hands, the best thing to do is to use like a Formula 409 and uh, just wipe them off with a with a towel and clean them up, and they'll look really good. I wouldn't repaint them. That's not my preference. Uh, I like to keep the original patina, uh, the original aged look and just a little Formula 409 or just a little soap and water and wipe them off and dry them carefully so that they're fully dry so that to avoid any rust.